Okay, so we're going to carry on with 15.3, conservation. That's a very important word, conservation, conserving, linear momentum for a system of particles. So remember, this guy, the sum of, by the way, I did check, it's momenta, sum of the momenta at state 1, plus the sum of all the impulses acting on these, on the all the external impulses is equal to the sum of the momenta at state 2. Okay? Now, remember that if we had external impulses, we would change the momentum. Okay? And remember that this could also be written like this. It is the total mass of the system times the velocity of the center of mass at state 1 plus the sum, I'm just going to put I here, sum of the, all the momen, men, uh, impulses, sorry, is equal to mvg at 2. Okay? Alright, now, these impulses would change, these external impulses would change the momentum of the system. So, how will we conserve, or when, rather, when is momentum conserved? Momentum is conserved when our external impulses are zero. They, there aren't any external impulses. So an example is um, two boxes that are sliding toward each other and they collide. Okay, they come and they, and they go... Boom. They collide. What does that mean? It means that if we take the, both the boxes as our system it means that these forces with which they, or the impulses with which they um, apply to one another, are internal. Internal. So, we have conservation of momentum, meaning there aren't any external impulses. Okay? Um, a tennis ball and a tennis racket. Okay? Imagine, just imagine that that's a tennis racket. Okay? And the tennis ball hits the tennis racket, and during the the uh, impulse or during the interaction, we only have internal impulses between them. Okay, so momentum is conserved when the external impulses are zero, and this often happens when two objects collide or interact with one another. Okay. So, you must, first of all, I didn't put this in here, you must define your system. Again, what is your system? If there's the two particles, you need to define that as your system. Then any forces that are acting between the two particles are internal, and they, are, they cause internal impulses, which means that we will have the conservation of momentum. So, what are your internal, what are your external impulses? Okay, so that is hopefully uh, an, just a quick introduction to this. Um, I'd like to also just quickly show you something which is which is quite nice. A lot of the examples don't look at this, but uh, I just want to want you to be aware of this because I feel like this is very important. Remember, in the previous video, we showed that sum of m i v i is the same as saying. I know I mentioned it over here, is the same as saying mass times the velocity of the center of mass. So if you've got a bunch of particles, right, or even if you've got two particles, um, the initial momentum, of, which is the total mass, the total mass of the system, times the velocity of the center of mass, if you can locate that, is the same before and after. Okay, state one and state two. Now let's look at an interesting application of this. Okay, so say now you've got this rocket over here. It's got two part. Okay, there's uh, there's one and there's two. Okay, but initially it is one single mass. Okay, and it it is following a uh, projectile motion trajectory. Let's just erase this. Okay, now. Remember that a projectile motion just follows this, this kind of path here, right? It just follows that kind of path. The only force is acting down. 
There's no acceleration in the horizontal, but there's acceleration down G. Now, at, at a certain part, a certain point of this path, the, the rocket explodes into two. Okay? It explodes into two. The one mass moves, then uh, begins to move in a, along a different path, which is, it moves along that path, the, this uh, mass 2, and this back mass begins to just drop. Okay? Now, so you can see that both of these, that mass 2 and mass 1, they both have an, a different um, mass times velocity. They both have a different momentum. So mass 2, velocity 2, mass 1, velocity 1. Okay, does it make sense? We start off with m times velocity, the mass of the entire system times the velocity of the center of gravity, center of mass. Then it explodes. This particle moves there, this particle moves there. Okay? But now what is very interesting is if you trace the center of mass, the center of mass, the, the part of the center of mass continues to follow the projectile motion trajectory. Okay, this is, this is pretty cool. So each particle that is separated has a different center of, uh, sorry, has a different path and um, a different momentum. But, so if you start off with mass times velocity of the entire thing here, this is state one, is then equal to, because the impulses are internal, the impulses are internal, there aren't any external impulses, then it means that uh, momentum is conserved, means that the momentum of the center of mass will stay the same. So we're going to have mass 1, uh, velocity 1, plus mass 2, velocity 2. But the point is that the, the center of mass, because momentum is conserved, the center of mass still follows the same trajectory. So there's another example. I don't want to waste your time. So imagine there's two kids playing on uh, some ice. What is and they're both at rest. Okay, they're both at rest. What is their initial velocity? So mass one, velocity one plus mass two, velocity two. There's one and there's two. They're both zero, right? And if you can find their, this, if this is your system, and say now there's my center of mass then we know that that becomes mass, the total mass times the velocity of the center of mass of your system and this is zero, okay? So, then they apply internal impulses to one another the, the boy starts moving in that direction, the girl starts moving in that direction where, what happens to the center of mass? what happens to the center of mass? it stays in the same place because momentum is conserved okay meaning that my that was um, the the momentum of the center of gravity at state one must equal the momentum of the center of gravity at state two meaning that that momentum stays the same although the momentum of the boy and the momentum of the girl changes the momentum of the system remains the same okay you need to think about it I hope I didn't confuse you um, good luck. Cheers.